Welcome to Warp Zone 9, Warpcast Episode 5. Today we got Anthony back for a second episode and introducing Dane. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, Dane. How's it going? Good. How about yourself? Can't complain. So, uh, what, uh, what's your history with Nintendo? I remember playing... For the, the first video game I ever played was the original Mario Brothers. I was like four years old at my grandma's house. And growing up, my grandma had a Nintendo. My brother and I got a Super Nintendo for Christmas the year it came out. And from there, I've been a fan. And uh, do you, you have a 3DS, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yep. What was the last thing you played on it? Uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. Good game. Good game. <laughs> yeah. uh, do so you have... many hours. So, so many hours. So the team, or the studio that developed that, uh, just last Friday, Codename Steam came out. Have you know anything about that? No. Yeah, it's like a turn-based, uh, yeah. real-time, like strategy game, uh, where you move around, you take turns, but then you like when you contact, come into contact with the enemy, you like do real-time battle. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, how, it's got a very Western flavor to it. How did I not know about this? I don't this know. sounds absolutely <laughs> fantastic, <laughs> and it's uh, it's got uh, voice work acting in it too. So it's the. the yeah. uh, the, the leader of your squad is uh, Abraham Lincoln. How's that sound? Yes. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, it, it also features the likes of the uh, the lion from The Wizard of Oz. He's on your, okay. on your team. Wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's it's the setting kind of for this? Hmm? What is the setting? like? Uh, it's an alien invasion invading the Earth, and you're <laughs> tasked by Abraham Lincoln to stop the alien invasion. <laughs> And it's, it's like 3D, I, like 3D it's, polygonal. It's not like Fire Emblem where it's like a map where you look down. It's like you see it behind the back, behind the back kind of. And you only got a limited view of what you can see. So you don't know. You don't always exactly know where your enemy, where the enemy is when you're in battle. Yeah, this it needs looks, to happen faster. Awesome. There's a it's free a, demo you can download today for yeah. it too. Okay, when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> right. What was it called again? Codename Steam. Codename and Steam, Steam is an acronym that stands for the, what the actual team is called. Okay. Yeah. Which I escaped at the time. <laughs> um, so, want to get into the news? Sure. So, uh, big success for Nintendo this week. Um, the NPD came out. You guys familiar with the, the NPD is? It's a company that tracks uh, oh, okay. sales of video yep. game okay, software yep. and hardware monthly. Um, the top ten of uh, the month of February. Uh, number one was The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. And now, what makes this impressive is that uh, the NPD, if a game comes out on multiple consoles, mm -hmm. they take the Xbox version, the PlayStation version, or if there's a PC version, they combine all the sales into one giant yeah. number. So They um, do it by title, not and, by... Yeah. So Majora's Mask 3D only came out on one yeah. platform. And it, became, it got number one, Beating Out Evolve. That came out on uh, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Yeah. Well, consider how many people were... Crying for a Majora's Mask remake for how long? Yeah, like I want, I wanted a, a Ocarina of Time remake for a long time, and then they finally delivered with Ocarina of Time 3D, and that was pretty fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's uh, one, one thing about Ocarina of Time 3D. I just learned. I didn't look it up, but I heard that uh, the game, the physical copy, is going because it's out of print now. The physical copies are going from sitting with a lot of money, I guess, on eBay and secondhand shops. You just it. download a download Damn copy it. and sell yeah, them. I mean, the, the, the digital copy is yeah. always there for you, so yeah. Yeah, never going to run out of those. Um, but uh, Majora's Mask 3D sold roughly around 515,000 copies digitally and physically. That was one of those awesome games. <laughs> so uh, the other Nintendo game that made the top 10 was Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, which came in at number 10 on the list. That one nice. I have not gotten yet. I don't have that I've many heard, free hours yeah. in my life I've right heard a now. lot of good things about the Monster Hunter series and thinking about picking it up. Definitely. Um, also, another milestone uh, that was announced is uh, the 3DS family of systems was the best-selling hardware for the month of February, being out on all the other consoles and handhelds. And Nintendo managed to move nearly 395,000 3DS units during the month of February. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, more, the majority of which were the new Nintendo 3DS system, uh, new 3DS XL. Is like that a lot of people were pumped for the. Is that even with the uh, the what do you want to say the shipping dock strikes going yeah. on? Yep, even with so. Oh no, Nintendo uh, airshipped 
as much as possible when that happened, didn't they? They said that I think uh, for systems they, they, they did. for the the new yeah, 3DS uh, handhelds. Yeah, I'm not sure. When I, what I read is that uh, software was airlifted because it's so light, mm-hmm. but oh, okay. uh, Amiibo and from understanding hardware was on the on the boats because they're okay. mm. overall yeah. when they're shipped in bulk. Yeah, it's heavier. Yeah, so I'm not sure. Mm. Um, the, the, the sales for the 3DS were up 90 percent during uh, the first uh, two months of 2015 compared to the previous year, and uh, during the month of February 2015, they managed to sell more Nintendo 3DS systems than the two previous Februarys combined, the February of 2014 and 2013. Damn. Yeah, so a lot of good t- games and a new, more powerful system. Helps. So, so I, yeah, I guess uh, <laughs> releasing and iterate a new like upgrade to the system yeah. definitely helped kind of spark sales. In addition to Zelda and uh, games like Monster Hunter. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, the previous week's Nintendo releases uh, on an eShop, Codename Steam, it's out. Came out Friday. Uh, also, 3D Outrun, which is a the Sega game. Uh, Ported to the 3DS in 3D, so it gets a little pop effect. I know I've played that before. It's a classic <laughs> arcade game. Yeah, it's like a, you, it's like a red convertible, and there's like a lady in the. Yep, seat yep, and, okay. Yeah, and you crash, they fly. Out they the flip car, around. You know? Yep. Yeah. Uh, It'd be pretty fun with 3D, I think. <laughs> uh, so that's on the 3D 3DS <laughs> eShop. Wii U eShop, uh, they released Trine Enchanted Edition, uh, which is a re-release of a older title with uh, additions, new additions. And uh, you were talking about F Zero mm-hmm. uh, when, when you came. Uh, Nintendo released F Zero GP Legend on the Wii U Virtual Console, which is a GBA game. It's the last uh, handheld F Zero game that came out. It was based off. It had, when it came out, it had an anime tie-in. It was the, yeah. It was the anime yeah, that was on the that. Fox box. Yeah, that's. They really need to come out with a new title for the series. Do you remember the? Uh, e-reader at all the e-reader? yes it's yes i do yeah. so the japanese version release of G- the gp legend on the uh on the gba had a, a function where you could scan in cards to like add new tracks to the game yeah but uh, by the time this came out in america the, e- the e-reader was pretty much done yeah unfortunately the e-reader kind of bombed so here. they yanked that functionality out of our north american version which is still missing uh, other releases all right so there's sales on the on the wii u e-shop uh, all way for way forward titles are on sale such as Shantae, The Pirate's Curse, Mighty Switch Force 2. Have you ever played the Phoenix Wright games? I have not, unfortunately, but I've had so many friends make references and cosplay and tell me that I need to play it that I'm moderately savvy with it. Yeah, so it's a great time to jump in this uh, this week up until Thursday. All the Phoenix Wright games on eShop are on sale, or Ace Attorney games, including the Trilogy. So you can buy the original three that started it all on the Wii, on the 3DS eShop, and they're redone in 3D. It's got the 3D pop effect. You can still play in 2D if you don't. So that's not your thing. <laughs> uh, those are on, it's on sale down from 29.99. Get a finger wiggle in your face <laughs> in 3D. Yep. Uh, also the the fourth one, or it's technically the fifth one. Uh, Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies is on sale as well up until March 26th. Hmm. Stuff to beat that one. I got it, played it, loved it, but then other games other came Other games. On, so it... <laughs> you got, are you familiar with the 3DS themes at all? Have you downloaded any? I have not. Well, I downloaded a couple of just the plain ones, but I haven't done any of the pay for. Yeah. There's a couple that I really want, but it's one of those, I don't know if I want to pay so, for right. that. I don't know if you're aware, but there's been an update to the 3DS where you can customize the homepage for all your game icons and stuff are. Okay. Uh, it's, like, it's like $2 a theme. Um, new themes this week is the NES Balloon Fighter, Pokemon Ray, Mega Rayquaza, Pokemon Friends, and Pokemon Hanafuda. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot that look really sweet, but it's one of those, if I start buying them, I don't think I'd be able to stop, because it'd be like, oh, I want this one, and this one, and this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've, I think I've bought two. The one I'm rocking right now is Majora's Mask, the theme. Yeah, it, it would have to be something that I really, really like. Like you said, Majora's Mask, or specific Pokemon that I, I could get behind, Small but... Oak. And it, it, it adds music. <laughs> There's it, a slip hole going. Oh, <laughs> it adds music to the to the yeah. home screen too. And whenever you open up a game or whatever, it makes little sounds related to that does, game. Or does the slow poke coin just go I slow? Know. I don't know. I don't have it. I wish I did. I have no idea. I would doubt it. That might. Yeah. That would be fantastic. I would pay two dollars yeah, for that. Then. Exactly. <laughs> You're all familiar with the Sunder and Kagura game series? No, have not. Not surprising. Yeah. Uh, 
anime, probably a lot of uh, anime fans would, would be familiar with it. Uh, it was originally a 3DS game. The first one was a 3DS game. Um, they, they were, then there was an anime tie-in. They made an anime series based off of it, and there's also been one on the PlayStation Vita. It's uh, it's totally targeted towards men. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's about it's, uh, female shinobi who are going to this like school that has a secret shinobi like program. It's like unknown to the rest of the school. Uh, they're they so they go out on missions and defend Tokyo or Japan against. Uh, well, of course, it'd be secret. I mean, if it were known, then the shinobi would just kind of be pointless. <laughs> yeah. So the reason it's targeted towards men is because it's, uh, it's whenever they go into battle and they take damage, their clothes kind of rip and <laughs> tear. Go figure. Yeah. And uh, and then they can transform, do like ninja transformations where they change into different outfits in battle, like magical transformations. Um, in Europe. In Japan, they got a physical release of the original, and here they weren't sure how well it sells, so they just released it digitally only on the eShop. No physical copy. But uh, they announced that the second one's coming to North America and Europe. Europe, again, is getting the physical copy. But for- fortunately, we are also getting a physical copy. Um, Better than nothing. If you're a pre-order, you can uh, reserve what's called the Double D edition. Which is a fun way to say a double disc, because it comes with the soundtrack. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Play on words. Yeah. Yeah. So this version is going to have a uh, local and Nintendo Wi-Fi co-op mode, so you can team up with a friend, oh, battle some nice. enemies. Uh, it's also going to have an improved dressing room, because so, you can you can unlock costumes and change an improved dressing room. Yep, uh, the dressing room is stocked with hundreds of items, and the time and this time up to two shinobi can be present in the dressing room at once. So okay, I can see interesting where it's mechanic at least. Like. <laughs> also, for the fir- for the very first time in the series, you can pose the girls in a variety of positions and even pose them in real life environments using Nintendo 3DS's built-in camera. What do you think of that? <laughs> I think it was only a matter of time. Uh, yeah, like, it's creative and it's kind of cool. Like you'll see tons of sweet stuff people will be doing with it. But technology, yeah, technology, yeah, it's there. Um, so have you gotten into the Mebo craze at all? I have not. I don't have a, a Wii U currently, so I haven't found it uh, practical to get into the Amiibos yet. Yeah. They're so, sweet figures anyway. I, they are. I understand just... this. <laughs> I, I avoid... I, I love collectible things like <laughs> that, and I avoid buying them for that exact reason. So we can't go an episode without talking about Amiibo, because there's always no. some new oh, yeah. information about Amiibo coming. Uh, so... About a week ago, there was uh, some website come out in another country that uh, had a retail listing for uh, two more Smash Brothers uh, Amiibo, Jigglypuff, and Greninja. It's obvious that these are coming, but Nintendo hadn't officially announced them yet. They also That same retailer also listed uh, some Amiibo for Splatoon. Are you familiar with Splatoon? I'm so excited for that game. It's a first-person uh, shooter where instead of... Well, I mean, you can still third, kill each other. Third-person shooter, but instead of killing people, the goal is to paint the course. The biggest percentage wins, and so you can kill the other people to make it so they can't paint. And then you get, like, grenades and different kinds of guns that do different kind of paint splatters. Yeah, so you play as squids that yeah. uh, transform into human-like creatures. Okay. And then you have, like, ink guns. And yeah. your team is all the same color, and your goal is to, to, it looks yeah, awesome. to get the most splats in that color to match by the end of the round to yeah. win. And then you can also attack your enemies, and then when they take enough damage, they go... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks awesome. <laughs> in, a, in a friendly kind of way. Oh, yeah. Um, but they announced... They, was, they listed uh, some Splatoon Amiibo, on, which Nintendo has not... I get that one. Nintendo has not... They're not officially announced at the time, and they technically still haven't announced it, but uh, someone did catch on the official product page for the game on the Wii U eShop that the, the product listing mentioned Amiibo, and that they got a picture of it. And since then, that's been... Before it's been taken yeah. down. The, the whole page is now just gone. <laughs> so... It's not there anymore at the moment. So I, it's, I think it's safe to say that there's some Splatoon Amiibo on the way. They listed a, a male a Splatoon Amiibo and a female Splatoon Amiibo on the retailer. Um, you guys familiar with Next Level Games, the game developer? Yeah, I've heard of them. They're based out of Canada. They made such games as Super Mario Strikers and Super Mario, Super Mario Strikers Charged on the Wii. Oh my god, that and game is so fun. their latest game was Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Yep, that's, um, that's yeah, what it is. the new one. Um, so there's a... a Guy that started working there in the last year or so, um, he updated his official his personal blog and his LinkedIn profile to reflect that he is currently working on a new Nintendo IP at at uh, Next Level Games. Um, he says, after over ten years in film and television, I'm working on ga- in the gaming pipeline for the first time at Next Level Games, helping 
to animate and game cutscenes. Switching pipelines like this is a terrific brain scramble. The crew is fantastic, and it's t and it's a ton of fun being surrounded by Nintendo IP all day. It's making me want a Wii U. Is that weird? Yes, it is. But here we are. So That's since Nintendo has not officially announced that they're making a game at uh, Next Level Games, and since then he has edited his uh, Aww. blog at LinkedIn to Aww. change that. So it's probably safe to assume that they were working on something, but it's, but it's exciting to think what that could be. Any, yeah. any guesses? Not a clue. What would you like to see? Well, they worked on the Striker series. Uh, they, that they, was... they also worked on uh, Punch-Out for Wii. Yeah. yeah. The Wii Punch-Out? Wii yeah. Punch-Out, yeah. Okay. I would be pumped, especially with... Is there, is there any old franchises that you'd like to see come back that have been dormant for a long time? Hmm. No, they've been, they've been reinvigorating uh, a number of them as of late. Nothing that I can really think of. Yeah. Some, something will pop up later. <laughs> I'd be interested to see any of another Strikers. <coughs> it's... It's... Strikers is very interesting because I, I, it's really it's a lot of fun to play, but uh, when you start playing with other people, it gets that game in particular, unlike any other for me, it gets very intense and heated. Um, my friends and yeah. I, when we would play, uh, we would love to check people into the fence, especially Princess Peach. And then whenever you check someone into the fence, you just scream out, "You love the fence!" <laughs> just top your lo top your lungs. You love the fence. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, for for Western developed game, it's, they make some great stuff. Yeah. So, um, last bit of news I have: uh, the developer uh, HAL Laboratories, who is famously known for the Kirby series, is bringing a game over from Japan. So I think it's been on Japan for a while. It's called Box Boy for the 3DS. You play, it's like a black and white game. You play as this little square guy with the arms and legs called Box Boy, okay. and he creates like platforms out of his own body. It's like a kind of like a puzzle game. But it's also like a platformer puzzle game. Okay. So he creates like you have to figure out a way to get to the end by creating things for, out of his body. Bridges out yeah. of himself. Yeah. So it features uh, 173 stages. Uh, I guess the main character's name is Quibby, Q B B Y. Uh, it's the main character. It's headed to the Nintendo eShop this spring. Anything else you guys want to touch on before we close out? Not really. No, I'm good. So, mm -hmm. Twitter. Son of Gunder, 89. D. Shimmick. Mm -hmm. Nestor, 64. Until next time, thanks for watching.